The video you are about to see is extracted directly from BIM After Dark Volume 3. Head on over to BIMAfterDark.com and select Volume 3 to find out more. In this lesson, we're going to integrate some trigonometry or more complex math into a line-based detail component. This can also be used in three dimensions uh, for different types of families, but I thought the most basic way to show it would be um, a practical example as a detail component. So what we're going to create is going to be a um, constant sloping rigid insulation detail component. So as you can see, this is line based. And no matter what, your slope, which you define, stays constant. So right now it's a half inch, half inch per foot. If we want it to go a 4 by 12, there we go. We got a 412. And we can also change the minimum thickness. So minimum thickness, if we want 6 inches. You see it bumps up. And again, that, that stays constant the whole way. You're just dragging it along. So imagine when you're drawing wall sections and, and, and details, how powerful this will be. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made this. So we're going to hit the Revit button. We're going to go New, Family. And we're going to go to a Detail Component or Detail Item Line Based. OK. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a couple reference planes, as usual. Type RP on the keyboard. I drew a reference plane. I'm going to move it up four inches. This one's going to define our minimum minimum slope or our minimum rigid insulation, I mean. I'm going to copy this up. I don't know. Let's just say one foot six for now. That That's going to be adjustable. So now we have two reference planes. I'm going to draw dimensions to each. And then I'm going to draw a dimension from here to here. So this one we're going to call our minimum slope. So I'm going to select my dimension, say add parameter and say minimum, I keep saying slope, minimum insulation or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to make that a type parameter under dimensions is fine. This is going to be our height. So I'm going to add parameter. I'm going to say height and I'm going to make this an instance parameter. So one thing I want to do now is I want to jump into my edit types. So I'm going to click edit type here. And so now we have our height, we have our minimum insulation, and our length, which is also a, a default parameter because this is line-based. First thing I want to do is I want to lock my minimum insulation so that doesn't get pushed and pulled when we do our math later, which is fine. And now we want to add a couple things. So we're going to add a parameter, and I'm going to make this a number parameter, and I'm going to call this one slope. And this is also going to be an instance parameter. Now, if you want, you can put it under dimensions. You can put it under other. I'm going to put it under other so it stays at the bottom. And there it is there. The next thing we want to do is create a dimension called angle. And the reason for this is when we're doing the trigonometry, we're going to want to use angles and not uh, 112, etc. So we got to convert it. So we're going to make one called angle. And it's going to be an instance. And it's going to be an angle parameter. And we can put that under dimensions. Yeah, it's already under dimensions. And click OK. So there we go. We got angle. So now what we want to do is we want to make this angle be a, an equation. So if we say two, if we say two over twelve here, or just two, then this angle is going to be the the angular version of two twelve, basically. So in order in order to do that, we're going to use the arctan. Again, this is going back to geometry. And then we're going to do the slope divided by twelve. So that's saying the arctan of the of slope, which is going to be what we place in here, divided by 12. So if I put a 2 in here, you'll see 9.462 degrees. So now Revit's doing the math for us, so we don't have to worry about doing all that fun math of, of converting a slope to an angle. And so the next thing we want to happen is we want, um, using, using Pythagorean's theorem actually, uh, we want to get this height. So this height's going to get driven up because remember, the, 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 slope, is, the slope is locked. And so I'll, I'll graphically show you exactly what's happening. But the the because we have some knowns, we'll know the length and we'll know the angle. We can solve for the height. So we're going to do the length times the tangent of the angle. Again, this is just Pythagorean's theorem. This is trigonometry, etc. So now you can see it says one foot four and click apply. And now this is going to adjust. So what we've done here is we've made a rig that adjusts the height based on the length and it's going to keep an angle and so to see that angle we're going to create a reference line 
and we're going to select the top of our minimum insulation and we're going to select our height and then press escape let me move this length out of the way okay so now what you're going to see is how this rig pushes and pulls and the cool thing about it is because we're, we're using a height instead of an angle we can adjust this to six, click apply, and you'll notice this adjusts as well. If we can go to 0 0.5, so we have a half inch slope, this will adjust. And it'll stay constant. So notice how that stays constant. The height is all that changes. So now we have a really cool rig that's doing exactly what we want. Now we have to go to create and create a filled region. And I'm actually gonna use pick lines here, and I'm gonna click lock here. Because I know that I want to lock it around the corners here. And you'll see what I'm doing. So I, I, I did, again, I went to create, filled region, and I'm going to do pick lines under draw. I'm going to select that angular, angular reference plane. I'm going to select this reference plane, this reference plane, and this reference line. Now I'm going to use TR on my keyboard. And I'm just going to trim these around. I'm going to select my rigid insulation, because that's already defined in here, and click finish. Now this filled region gets driven by all that math we just did and again we can test it if we select here we say 1.5 click apply it all adjusts so now if i load this into my project i can select from here to here we have a nice line based family that's at a constant slope and we can adjust different things so if i want this to be a six there's our six. If I want it to be 1.5, there's our 1.5. If I want the minimum uh, insulation to be six inches, I just click there and, and it adjusts. Perfect. Three, etc. So there you go. This can be used, this, this type of math, this type of rig can be used in three dimensions, two dimensions for lots of different things. So I thought this was a great way to sort of introduce you to using such math in Revit.